But we were warned, don't ever go through that door, so we haven't opened it yet. You haven't gone in there? We don't know what's behind it. What was that? Oh my God. What is up fam? Welcome to another beautiful day here at the Safe Haven Ranch. Hope you're having an awesome day. So if you missed my last video, I kind of explained why I messed up and it was uh, it was a terrible mistake on my behalf. I, I should have did a little bit more research, but I ended up getting this plastic pool for my baby ducks and I left them in it a little longer than I wanted to. I did come back and check on them, but it was about 20 or so minutes and one of them ended up dying. I don't know if it was just, if it was was cold or if it drowned I, I don't think it drowned because it was just a little bit of water in there it was enough water for them to still stand up but maybe he didn't know he was able to stand up well I felt really terrible about it we ended up going from seven baby ducks to six and today I did a thing I was at tractor supply because I think one of my cows pet cows may have pink eye she has some sort of irritation going on in her in her eye. So I went and got some medicine for her. And as I was there, I saw some baby ducks. And I thought to myself, well, hey, let's replace the baby duck that passed away because I, I feel terrible. But not only am I replacing the baby duck, but I'm replacing it with two baby ducks in its honor, okay? So it's something that I guess happened with the chickens too. I think I ordered 24 chickens, ended up with 27. One passed away, so I got two extra. So this is kind of repeating that story. Now here's the thing. I'm gonna kind of prank Tiffany because she has no idea. I did this right now. She is back there with the animals right now. And I just got off the phone with her. She has no idea. I, in fact, she was like, why are you gonna go with the birds? Because I just took care of the birds. I just gave them water and whatever. And I, I made up some stupid excuse. So I told her to meet me back here whenever she's done back there. We don't have a whole lot of time. These guys are so stinking cute. I mean, all baby ducks are cute, okay? At first, I was just wanting to get one, but I was like, no way. I mean, these guys are probably siblings. I mean, these guys are already bonded. Oh, look how cute. They're cute. Now, these guys are slightly smaller than my babies because my babies are probably like a week and a half old. These guys are probably just a couple days old. And these are going to be like those large white ducks. So let's get them in there. Oh, guys, I got you a friend. You guys are a lot bigger. I mean, plus, I have two geese. <laughs> These are your new brothers and sisters. You guys, be nice. Oh, my God, they're so much bigger. Okay, they're kind of freaking out. I don't know. All right. They're actually being pretty nice to them. No. Look, they just instantly accepted them. Now, if these ducks were grown ducks, they'd be pecking at each other. So this is the only reason why I put them together. Even being baby chickens, they'll kind of accept each other. Now, that is one of my goslings right there, AKA Goose, and they kind of run stuff. They're like the big brother and sister, but you can see they're kind of smelling them a little bit, but they blend right in. You guys are so cute. I gotta get Tiffany back here. First of all, you guys are so messy. I gotta get this cage clean. I, let me show you the difference between ducks and chickens. This is ducks because they love playing in their water. And then this is chickens. I got 26 chickens in here. Look how much cleaner they are. I mean, they're still dirty. Don't get it twisted. They're sleeping right now. Probably in the next couple days, I am gonna transfer our chickens outside with the regular safe haven, you know, family, the bigger animals. And I think it's gonna be great, but I have, I have an actual chicken coop, a huge chicken coop for them. They got pretty much all their feathers. It's fairly warm now. I mean, at nighttime, it's just barely dropping into the 60s. If anything, maybe 69 degrees. I mean, it's still still nice, uh, but they got their feathers. They're gonna be staying warm. Hi, my little baby V. How you doing? How you doing? You're so cute. Do you have a good day today? So during the day, I put V out here on the porch. And he's giving me kisses. And he has a great time. I only let him out of his little home if I'm around. And it's usually when I'm in here, like, messing around with the chickens. It looks like Tiffany is still out there. Hey, babe! Come here! There's something wrong with the duck! All right, she's gonna be kind of mad. I told her that there was something wrong with the ducks. Not the case. Who wants the wormies? Who wants the wormies? Who wants wormies? Oh, chip a pocho. Oh, yeah. That tastes good. 
Hi, babe. Oh, that's my thumb. You guys are biting my fingers. Birds in general, they don't have the best eyesight. I mean, not all birds, but they don't have the best eyesight chickens or ducks at nighttime. You guys are missing out. Hey, Sister Mary Clarence, here. Oh my gosh, these guys are such chickens. Oh my gosh. Dude, look, there's something wrong with the ducks. You got a body double? I got two. You replace, you can't replace it. I didn't replace it. I got them, I got them baby, like baby brothers and baby sisters maybe. But look, they get along like perfectly. But they're all huddled together. So you're gonna have to go out there now and finish the animals because I just hauled butt in here. <laughs> and Mona chased me out and mo and mooed at me. She mooed at you? Aren't they cute? Oh my goodness. That's gonna be them little white ducks. Hi. Well, the big white ducks. I was just on the phone with Chris mm -hmm. and she's like, Please call me back and tell me what happened with the ducks. <laughs> it's oh my gosh, look, they just got trampled. Because you put you put some outsiders in there. No, no, they're they're friendly with each other. They're just scared. Well, they get along, they're not picking at each other. The goose is getting ran over. <laughs> so our ducks were that size Hi. about a week ago. Hi. Just to give you an idea. God, you like scared me. I was like, bro, I was literally just in there. Like what could happen to the ducks? <laughs> It's the only way I can get you in here. But no, I'm not trying to replace them. I think they like them so far. Do you know if they're a boy or a girl? I don't. I got my ducks this stuff. It's an organic duck crumbles. Instead of giving them chicken starter. And I got them this new feeder too. Let's see if they like it. Hey, look guys, got you that. Look how they love the water. They just love putting their feet in it. You guys like your new feeder? Yeah? You like your new home baby? Gosh, they're so little with the other ducks. I mean, just to give you an idea how big ducks grow in such a short time. I mean, these guys were, they were little like them just a week ago. They doubled in size in one week. But I think, I think these guys are gonna be fine. They can't hurt each other. Seems like they've already accepted the little guys into their duck clan. They're so cute. They're so cute. They are loving this little like water nipple thingy too. See, it has these things down here. Put a little food in there and they start going crazy. You guys need to go back to bed. Go back to bed. Ooh, someone likes their food. Is the food good? Oh, oh wow, look at that. Ducks get a little shy. They really do. I'm gonna probably stay out here and check up on them throughout the night too, just to make sure they are officially accepted. I mean, it seems like they're doing pretty well. I mean, they're, baby ducks are harmless. It's usually when they start getting into adulthood, they become a little bit territorial and stuff and they, they can kind of peck at each other and stuff like that, especially if you're not a part of their flock. Chickens are kind of like that too, but babies, they're fine. I mean, right now they're just looking at, hey, they're baby ducks like us. They're just a little smaller. Oh, like they're all hanging out, chilling, eating. It's like they instantaneously accepted them. I think the the white ducks are more the mean ones than anything. They're not mean. They're just then they see food on the other ducks. They're just pecking at them. That's what they're called. They're called pecking ducks. So yeah, those two right there, my pecking ducks, and then I got my. Cayuga ducks, which are my darker colored ducks. And then that's the one over there, the applewood. And then I have my two goslings. They're called, actually I forgot the name of the type of geese they are, but they're cute. They're gonna be, uh, they're gonna be big and like a silver color. What are they doing? They're so freaking cute. Okay, I'm gonna come back and check on them in a couple minutes. I'm gonna go check out the other animals. Dad, crazy. Did have to put some pieces of wood here. They started digging another hole around the concrete. Fun time. I don't know where my animals are. Okay, wait, who's this? Mona. Oh, hey Mona. Let me check your eyes out. Okay, you're okay. <laughs> Why are you being all weird? Be nice. Hi, baby. You having a good day? Dixie, what are you doing in here? How in the world did you get inside here? I had you on the other side. Hi guys, how you guys doing? How you guys doing? Hi Macy girl. What the heck is going on? Oh, oh gosh. 
Hi, my biggie. Hi, baby girl. Okay, I'm looking for this. Okay, this is who I'm looking for. Let me check out your eye, baby girl. Come here. Come here. Let me see your eye. Come here. Oh, okay. I need a treat, huh? Let me see your eyes. Okay. Actually, her eyes are fine. Hey, no. Hey, get out of here. <laughs> Miss Piggy was trying to get into their dewormer right now. You want some dewormer? So... The reason why these guys, yeah, she does have a little bit of irritation on her eye. They get pink eye is from flies. Flies will mess with their eyes and sometimes hatch eggs. And we do have a little bit of a fly problem. Went and got the best there is veterinarian recommended. It's called Veterisin, which is good for pink eye and just eye irritants and things like that. <laughs> Freaking fly went in my nose. It's from the lights. What are you doing in here? You're not allowed to be in here. Hey, mister. Are you looking for the food? There's a lot of food in here, but I usually have that door closed. Hi, Dak. Hi, Gracie. How you guys doing today, huh? Oh, look at all the hair. Oh. Ah! Okay, wait, I got a treat for you. Oh, they already know. Look at them, they're already sitting. You guys gonna sit? You gonna sit for me? You gonna sit? You guys gonna sit? Okay, ooh. Okay, Gracie, sit, sit. Good girl, good girl. <laughs> you guys are so good. I mean, sometimes you're good. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Hey, Lamar, want one of these? I don't think he does. Okay, I usually close that door before I come in here. Because I ain't trying to get trampled by a thousand pound cow, even though my cow's not out there right now. But... There's something out there? Oh, gosh. What's out there, Dak? What's out there, Dak? barking at me. What is it, Dak? Uh, we are right by my, my fence line. Maybe he's barking at a rabbit or something. I hope it's a rabbit. Hey, Lamar. You want some of this, buddy? Here, you can have a little bit. So it is happening. Next week, these guys are getting sheared. They're getting groomed. It was cool. I got really lucky. Now, the way I found like a groomer for my llamas, which I mean, it just, I don't know. It just, they don't exist. I mean, they do, but it's kind of like a word of mouth thing. So I contacted a local alpaca llama, you know, like a rescue. They gave me somebody's number and I went on their website, looked at their pictures and they do an amazing job. So I am gonna get that on video. I don't know how these guys are gonna act. I'm actually kind of scared about Lamar because I mean, he's friendly, but he gets a little jumpy at times. You know, see like when I, when I try to pet him, see how he's a little weird. Hi, buddy. Come here, hi. But, I mean, but generally he's friendly, but he's not like Macy. Macy's just so cute. She just gets in your face and so cuddly. This guy just wants food. Hey, hey, Mr. Llama, come on. <laughs> oh, for you. Yummy. Oh, yeah. Oh, Miss Piggy. Miss Piggy got into the... Wait, how'd you get in here? Miss Piggy? No. You're not allowed to be... Oh, my God. She is such a terror, too. She's got into the dog food. Oh, Miss Piggy. I didn't close this gate all the way. Okay, I'm going to pick you up, Miss Piggy. Oh my God, you're so heavy. <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> she weighs like 50 pounds. Oh my God. Oh, I love you so much. You're so stinking cute. You're gonna get a haircut, Macy. You're gonna get a haircut. See how friendly she is? We bottle raised her for several months. And I mean, she's just so friendly. She's getting big. She's like, in her teenage years now. Hopefully she's still sweet after she gets a haircut. <laughs> she's gonna look like a little alpaca because that's what she looks like. She's a llama paca. Well, no, she's a llama. She'll be big one day. Although I have seen llamas that are a lot bigger. These guys are, you know, they're, they're still big, but I've, whoa. Yeah, I've seen llamas like, like this tall before. All right, I did spray some of that stuff in Lily's eye. It like, seems like her like her left eye is a little irritated. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure it is pink eye, but that stuff that I gave her, is good for any type of like eye irritations, including pink eye. All right, you guys be good, okay? Be vigilant, stay focused, but you know, make sure you get some rest too later. Hey, look, mom, it's a spoiler. It's a really big spoiler too. How you doing? 
Man, get a little tickle. Man, get a little tickle. Oh! I'm gonna tickle him with a piece of grass. Hey, me too. <laughs> just don't jump on me, man. Just don't jump on me. I just want to pet you. Oh, nice little spider. Nice little spider. You want to be my pet? You want to be my pet? Yeah. Okay, so I wanted to check up on the baby ducks. Tiffany was in here a little earlier. Oh, wow. Look, they're getting along just good. It's just a little messier now because we got more ducks now. Hi, guys. <laughs> You're so cute. Oh, look at the baby pecking ducks. They're cuddling with the geese. That is awesome. These guys are getting way too big for the area and a little too destructive. Wow. Oh, wait, there's one out. Bro, I swear I just saw a chicken out. And there's no chicken. This is like a damn phantom chicken. What? Doppelganger chickens? No way. Sister Mary Clarence is my uh, real shy chicken. Baby cheese, not my lover. She's just a girl. Claims that I am the one. The kid is not my son. That thing blows, okay? It really blows. It feels nice, even right here in the doorway. It's gonna be a hot day today. So, yeah, we need that. What are you screaming about? What are you screaming about, huh? Let me give me a guess. Give me, give me a kiss. How you doing, baby? I am planning on going somewhere a little later that I got invited to. A place that not many paranormal investigators have been able to explore. Now, if you didn't know, maybe you just stumbled across my channel because of, like, the farm videos. I do document, like, you know, scary occurrences, mainly, like, historical. I'm not a paranormal investigator. I've, like, really hated that title. You could just say that I like to document things that are abnormal, things that are paranormal, and tell the stories behind them. You know, it's always fascinated me. But I don't like to, I don't like to consider myself like an expert in the paranormal field because I'm far from that. Yeah, I know a lot. I've learned a lot. I've caught a lot over the years. But anyways, something that I'm going to be doing later and I may take you along. A friend of mine, his name is Jeremy Hales, has a channel called What the Hales. And he lives, I don't know, not too far away, maybe an hour or two away on the west side of Florida. And he goes back and forth. He does these like storage unit auction videos. They're really fun. And oh, look at these guys. But he bought a schoolhouse, an old schoolhouse. And supposedly this old schoolhouse is super haunted. And we're gonna get to check it out together. Hey guys, good morning. Someone told me that this space for my animals isn't big enough. This is about two acres of free space. Not two acres from where my house is or my property. Two acres just for the animals. That is a lot of land, okay? So whoever said that, I've seen so many places where there's animals and they're just in this little small enclosed area, especially horses, okay? Like, okay, give me an example, all right? My horse neighbor next door, and I mean, mind you, my, my neighbors, they let him out every once in a while, but they keep him over there. And that's about, that's a really good size for a horse, all right? Our area is a lot bigger than that. And that's probably like in half, maybe a half an acre of land for the horse. But he still has an additional, you know, eight to nine acres to roam sometimes during the day. I think he's out right now. Hi, Mona. How you doing, baby? Hi, Lily. Let's see your eye, baby girl. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Her eye is a little teary. See that? So I need to spray some more stuff in her eyes. She could have pink eye. And it is very contagious. Um, oh, she's got it in both eyes. Wait, do you got it? Okay, Mona does not have it, and it's from the flies. Look, look at all these flies they have on their heads. And I do spray stuff on them, but it only lasts so long. They don't let me spray this stuff very often on them. So, all right, hi, Dixie. How you doing, baby? She's getting a haircut. I'm excited. She needs one. She needs one, like, really bad. Look at that. Here goes Miss Peggy. Still trying to get the dog food from last night. Hi. Hi, baby. Hey, <laughs> how are you doing? Look at Miss Piggy in the water tub. <laughs> okay, this is what it should look like when I'm separating the animals. I got Lamar, Tommy, you know, that way he can't mount my girls right now because they're too young. And then I got the cows together. It's really hard to catch a little arena. I've mentioned that in previous videos. I have to kind of bribe them with food and that always works. But yeah, let's get some spray 
put on Lily again. I sprayed some of this last night. Doesn't have any alcohol or anything or antibiotics, which is great. Oh, it was a ghost. I don't know what it was. For irritated eyes to help relieve burning, stinging, itchy, watery eyes and removal of foreign materials. Directions for use, wipe away. Okay, set nozzle to stream setting. E. She's not gonna like me very much. Come here, Lily. Aw, I'm so sorry. Gosh, it's so hard to get her. I just feel so bad for her. Right. She thinks I'm like scolding her. No, really not. Mona, you look so beautiful today. Yes, you do. I love your colors. Mona's a Jersey cow, if you're wondering. They're naturally just kind of bony like that. I'm not like starving my animals, I promise you that. But you can see the difference. Like, look at Lily. She is a Herefordshire mixed with something else. And even even Rena, my Zebu, I mean, she's a little a little like skinnier, but it's just the type of cows they are. All right, I need to get your eye. Okay, I, I mean, I kind of got it. Aww. It says to get three sprays in each eye. I, I think, think I came close. A couple times I missed. All right. It's pretty windy out today, which is good because it is pretty sunny. I have the animals closed in the little, you know, garage just so then they wouldn't come out here when I was trying to separate the animals. Let's go get them. I mean, they are eating. Ah, Gracie. You guys always find the shade. Hey, babies. You're so freaking cute. Oh, my goodness. You're getting so big. You're getting so big. Okay, well, that's not candy. <laughs> I scared them. I didn't mean to scare you guys. You know, it's not even hot in here. I scared you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You are so adorable. Oh my gosh, you just want to eat your face. Man, she's so cute. She's so cute. Dude, still have a ton of hay. Hey, where did, where did Miss Piggy go? Miss Piggy, Miss Piggy. Did she escape? She, oh, I'm gonna kick her butt. Miss Piggy is eating the dog food. Where'd she go? Oh, okay, no she hasn't. Where the heck did Miss Piggy go? Oh, there she goes. You little vandal, you are so slick. Why you, ah! <laughs> and that's how they escape. I know she smells it. She's gonna go right to the dog food. You're gonna get effed up by Gracie. She don't like when you have her dog food. No, <laughs> no, no dog food for Miss Piggy. Miss Piggy's too Miss Biggie. You are too big. You are too big, get out of here. Go eat some food, other food, farm food, not dog food. No. Yeah, this is why I've been separating Miss Piggy from the dogs because she likes to eat their food. And the dogs don't really eat a ton. Like, they'll pick at their food a little bit and then come back to it a little bit later. Like, they're still hungry right now. Dak! Now, if I have them separated a little bit and Miss Piggy's still in the same paddock, they'll growl at Miss Piggy and they won't let her get their food. Here. Okay, eat your food. Come here, Dak. Come on. All right, she's searching. I can't believe she was hiding like that. Completely clickbaited. So, Miss Piggy clickbaited me. I'm going to clickbait Miss Piggy. Here, Miss Piggy, you want some dog food? Oh, look, I got some dog food for you, Miss Piggy. Come on, oh, yeah, look, I got Miss Buff. Oh, <laughs> I feel kind of bad. I'll give her a couple morsels. All right, here, Miss Piggy. Miss Piggy, there you go, right there. Dropped a couple nuggets for you. There you go. I didn't completely clickbait you like you clickbaited me. Look, you left one left. There's one left, Miss Piggy. Oh, gone. You got something to say? Here, say it. Say it into the microphone. Go ahead, Miss Piggy. Okay. Someone else wants to be interviewed. Come here, Mona. Let me know how you feel today. TMZ is watching. So, Miss Piggy, how do you feel about our governor, Ron DeSantis? Do you love him? Do you hate him? Come on. Okay. She has no comment. Look at Miss Piggy rolling around in the dirt. She's just loving it. <laughs> all right, this is all you guys get right here. Not taking any chances anymore. They literally have a foot of water. I mean, you know, duck feet of water. It's a, it's even smaller than a jacuzzi. And I'm probably going to take it out. <laughs> so I don't trust 
leaving water around ducks. Uh, I mean, you know, baby ducks. They'll be fine once they get their feathers and they start producing the natural oils. But yeah, I mean, they can get out. So I think I think they're okay. Man, the little ducks I got last night are doing so good. Just look at it. I put some little worms in there for them. They're loving them. Oh my goodness. So adorable. So probably in the next day or so, I'm going to put the chickens outside in the bigger coops. I think they're ready. And then I'm going to transfer the ducks into here, which is crazy because this is their future underground pool when they become adults. I mean, you know, just a temporary underground pool. I'm going to put this underground. I'm going to have a filtration system for them and it's going to be great. They'll be able to go in and out as they please. Yeah, I think it's time. I think these guys are getting bored. They're starting to jump out of the, the enclosure, AKA pool. Sometimes I'll find, I mean, look, they have little chicken poopies all over my chicken house. Yeah, we can't have that. And I mean, I think they'll enjoy being outside too. I have to get the dogs kind of introduced to them too so they can start protecting them. But I'm not gonna physically have the dogs around them. Not just yet. I'll wait till the dogs get a little bit more mature. But as of now, I have a little enclosure. I have two enclosures around. I have the chicken coop, which is enclosed. They can't dig holes to get to them. Also, I have a goat enclosure around that and that's where I'm gonna keep the dogs. If the dogs just so happened to make it through the other side, they can't get inside of the coop because it's gonna be locked up and they can't, of course, dig underneath because I have like chicken wire underneath. So they'll be protected. Yes, I think it's gonna be great. And it's about to be 90 degrees Fahrenheit in the next couple of days. So I think the chickens will probably enjoy that. Ducks, not so much. They don't have their feathers yet. All right, hey, so this is my friend Jeremy and he owns this newly acquired schoolhouse i thought it was a church at first no, from schoolhouse it's a schoolhouse you actually okay. are in the first edition right now the main part of the schoolhouse was built in 1928 we're going through that portion right now so as we come through here this is a connecting area and now this is the threshold the old doors used to be right here oh. this whole building built 1928 five more years it's going to be 100 years so it's definitely historic very historic. This is the first edition. There've been two editions on this building and two huge classrooms on either side of the hall, which I can show you that in a little bit, but you might want to see the urinal first, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to use the bathroom. Okay. We there, traveled a long way. There is a guest sign in book on the urinal. So uh -huh. I expect to see your name. Oh, sweet. Okay. Ladies restroom. All right. Going right there right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to restroom. check this place out. So it's haunted, huh? There's stories. I heard something about a woman in a red dress. All right, so there's a woman in a red dress. There's also supposed to be a little boy with a red ball who bounces the ball, who bounces the ball up and down the hallway. I got AC running right now. Let it me turn feels that on. good. You like that? Should I keep it on or turn it off? I don't know. I'd keep it on. It's right. hot outside. We'll keep it on. I mean, it's going to get dark soon. Do you ever open windows up? So we haven't opened any windows yet. This is the original auditorium. There's a second addition to the building. So this is 10,000 square feet. It's huge. So this Whoa. is the second edition. You can actually see the original brickwork from yeah. the school right here. So that's the original brickwork. And then this was added on later. So there's supposed to be a woman in a red dress. There's supposed to be a, a kid with a bouncing red ball. Doors open and close all on their own to the point of the former staff who sold this to us. They told us they've actually been locked in the different rooms. Apparently items turn on all by themselves, such as fans. So how do you feel about owning a haunted location? Pretty good. Idea. So they were trying to give it away to you pretty much. They, liter they literally were trying to give it away. This is where we live stream right <coughs> now. Shut up, why? There she goes. You scared me. <laughs> <laughs> it's the original stage. The the students used to, to come and perform here, and now it's a live stream for What the Hails. We just... So you guys live stream here? Yeah. That's awesome. This is where we live stream. This, this piano is apparently the original piano. Some of the students have come back and told us stories. So it's original piano. We got original lockers up here. When I purchased it, they told us, hey, it's haunted. It's haunted. It's haunted. It's haunted. And I just kept laughing about it. I was like, ha, 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 ha and I just kept pushing it off. Then I flew my employees down from Ohio to actually work for about three weeks. And they were like, hey, you told them it's haunted, right? And I'm like, uh, and I didn't ask any more questions. And then we were at an event with them last night. I'm like, all right, give me all the stories. So they've heard things, they've seen things, and I guess the list just keeps going on and on. You guys are gonna see what you can see, right? Yeah, we're gonna stay pretty much all night and see if we could really find out if it's haunted or not. I mean, we may spend the whole night and not catch a single peep. Or maybe we'll see the woman in the red dress. 
Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll see our little red ball. Is there any red balls around here? Blue, not red. Yeah. Oh, there's a blue ball. <laughs> <laughs> you set yourself up for I that. did. I did. <laughs> that's, that's good. That was good, Jeremy. So it has a second floor too? No, but I'm gonna show you how big it actually is. Okay. I wonder if this auditorium had like a bigger ceiling under. It does. Oh, okay. Maybe they did you see that this to... ceiling right here. Ah, okay. That's this all. is this is the original ceiling. Okay, right and here. if you peek through there, mm -hmm. you can see the original ceiling. Oh, okay, gotcha. So we're ripping all the that. ceilings out and yeah, we're that'll... trying to restore it back to its original original nice. state have you already started doing some renovations have we yeah let me show you all right wait how long have you owned this less than a month and you already, you already started doing a lot three of stuff? weeks no three kidding. weeks i've owned it dude it's you great. have no idea they literally abandoned everything they left everything and we took it as is like right here we haven't we haven't done anything yet this is their library oh wow so you can see careful 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 why that's a haunted floor so I was gonna fall in or something. You you might. We've not been in here. Is that a red ball? Oh, it is a red ball. What the heck? Maybe okay. that's the red ball. I'm not joking. I've never ever seen that in this room before. I'm not wow. joking. And I've seen this and I've been filming it. I mean, I have film of all of this, the whole renovation process on our channel, and I've not seen that yet. No kidding. So this is a room we haven't gotten to yet. Okay. This next room, if you come in here, you're gonna see we've actually gotten to here. And not only are we ripping the ceilings out, ah. we're literally ripping the ceilings out. We're going all the way back up to the rafters. All of this will be going up soon, but we've got termite damage here in the floor. We're gonna leave the original chalkboards. And oh, I love that. This had this? two walls. So later on in the history, a wall was put right here. You can see that line there. You uh -huh. can actually see it cut into the chalkboard. And there was a wall put in right here. We ripped these entire walls out. We filmed the whole process before, after. And then there was this drop-in ceiling. We ripped all that out. Then there was a tile ceiling. We ripped all of that out as well. Hey, George. How you doing? Hey. <laughs> Am I on camera? No, you're on iPhone. <laughs> I love y'all's place. This is so cool. Did you meet our security yet? Uh-uh. That's Maryland. Wait, uh, maybe the, the mosquitoes? No. Didn't you <laughs> oh, jump? Oh, yeah. That thing freaked me out when I first yeah. walked in. That's Maryland. This is She's Maryland. Security. Oh, so, okay. We do have security cameras everywhere, but... Um, she looks creepy from outside. We actually, we put her here too as an extra level of security. We haven't had any break-ins yet. Let me demonstrate. I mean, they're in Otter Creek. It's a really small town and everybody kind of looks after everybody. I mean, yeah. But check it out. Look. That really freaked me out. <laughs> What's her name again? That's Marilyn Raby. Mar Mar it's kind of got <laughs> cool coming after that they've already started like tearing stuff down because they say that that kind of like brings up things, doesn't it? Like when you do construction on haunted locations and then you go in and start doing construction, it kind of makes things more active. Mm. So you're saying that it might be more active? I mean, that's what they say. I'm scared now. Oh. We, we've stirred some stuff. Here, I'll show you some other rooms. <laughs> maybe, maybe calm down. You ain't staying the night. You ain't staying the night. They're staying the night. So this whole room we still have to do. If you want to see what, okay, what, what does a room look like where they abandon everything? Look, Whoa. this is not a joke, okay? They what? literally left everything. Dude, have you found Ten, like some really cool stuff? I mean, look, we, we found gold just today. Apes. We were metal detecting. We found silver. We found gold. Wait, what, gold what kind of gold? Gold ring. No way. Wedding ring. What? Can't tell you if it had to do anything to do with the lady in red and right. the red dress. We don't know, but we did find female Ooh. wedding band. They abandoned everything. Every this. room in this schoolhouse looked like this. I mean, every there's a lot of stuff in here. We've been working okay. three weeks solid, moving everything out, taking walls down, ceilings down. This is just... Wow. If you guys need first aid kit tonight... <laughs> Right there. Right in okay. there, okay. Right there, there's first Got aid. some old Legos. Dude, this is cool. It's like we stepped back in time. Wait, so this place was probably abandoned, what, in the 90s or 80s? This was this was currently just abandoned within the, the last year. So the original portion was built in 1928. Then there was addition, what we're in right now. Then there was a second addition, which uh -huh. we was in the back. 
Then it was abandoned in 72 and 73. So it was a school and then it became an annex for the school in 72 and 73. So there was literally nobody over here. Then the county gifted the property to Levy County ARC. And the ARC stands for Association of, and I don't mean this in any negative way, but it's retarded, it's called. retarded citizens. Okay. Now they've moved past that as mentally handicapped individuals. And so they had all of those individuals here and it was a school for those individuals and they've moved out of the building completely and it's been it's been abandoned literally you're looking i mean this is this is how we bought it as is everything the way that it is every room filled and this is what we've been working on and they've so been out with, within the past year so question what are you going to do with all this stuff bro we've had dumpsters in here the county actually gave us a dumpster to fill and so we've filled one huge, huge dumpster so far. But a lot of this stuff, kind of what we want to do is we just want to have a dollar sale for the community, invite the community to come over and just, there's just so much. Take a dollar, anything for a dollar, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's this chair, doesn't matter if it's, you know, it doesn't matter if it's this mirror that's worth $500, just a lot. And then we were going to donate all that money back to the Lark. They sold us the property. They, they left the property. They sold us the property. And so we wanted to use it to actually donate it all back to them. Dude, what a nice feller here. That's awesome. Let me know when that sale is so I can let y'all know and we can all come here and I already see something that I would buy for a dollar. But I'm going to wait because maybe somebody else wants it. It's right over there. Dumb and Dumber. Bro, I love this movie. Probably my favorite movie from the 1990s. And it's on V8. Bro, my girl, if she sees all these VHS tapes. Don't let her see them, man. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Dude, your uh, security guard scared me. She gets you? Yeah. That's why she's there. You know what? I mean, I don't know if it's just me. Like, me, like I just feel, I feel some heaviness in that room. I don't know. And it's not a claustrophobic feeling of just being in there. It just, I don't know, it feels heavy in there. Maybe you felt it too. I got to take you to another room. You okay. know why? Why? There's a chalk outline on the old oak floor. Like a person chalk? Person. No joke. Look. Wait, Come have here. people really died here? Come here. Chocolate line no. right there. There's an ax. Wait, what? We ripped up the carpeting. That was under the carpet? This is what was under the carpeting. What? I'm not sure about this whole... This looks like an iPhone. Right. But, um, Maybe it was a can. Oh, no, bro. That's creepy. So once we got to that point, we were, we were ripping out the ceiling and we got to that point and we were like, eh. <laughs> Yo, it's so cool. So that's why you're ripping out the ceiling. So, so you could maintain the original. We got to go height. back to the original everything. Yeah. Original everything. Now, you know why they lower the ceilings, right? For, for AC and for heat. That's all for yep. utilities and keeping the cost down. We don't care. We want to actually highlight the beauty of the facility. Yeah, like look, you got those beautiful windows up there. And they go all the way up. Yeah, that's nice. Right, I gotta tell you something. This wasn't actually under the carpet. Oh, you click mater. This is this is one of my employees and he had an ax. Okay. And, and we were throwing it. We were ax throwing, you see right here. This yeah. was a wall that we took out and we were axe throwing it. So, oh, you were axe throwing the wall. Yeah. So that's my employee, Christian. And then uh, we put on here, Christian could not be saved. Okay. So, you know, he, he died in the process. Oh, He's still alive. Though. He's, He's still, still alive. alive. All right. That's why he's he got his outline. outline there. All right. Hey, I like that. I mean, that's a cool story still. I could imagine y'all just like chucking, chucking hatchets. axes. <laughs> that's what we were doing and taking the walls down. This room was filled just like the one we were just in. Every room in here. So Everything where did all the stuff from in here go? In that room? Dumpster. Oh, you put it in a dumpster. Dumpster. Okay. Wow. Yeah. It I either, guess it wasn't anything great. We've either given it away or we put it in a dumpster. Okay. So if Those it was garbage, cubbies. dumpster. They, that reminds me of my childhood. This right here? Yeah. Would like you take your backpack and just hang it up? And be yeah. Like, you put like your coat in there. And well, we were talking about, should I take the cubbies out? And I was like, no, no that's too historic. The cubbies have to stay. Yeah, just like, repaint you, it. You even have some old names on them. There's names on the old lockers up on the stage as well in the auditorium. But um, George started to take the names off. I'm like, what are you I doing? Actually, you should keep taking the names off. And I have an awesome idea for you. You should have people sponsor a cubby and you put their names in the on cubby. On the cubby. Yeah. It's not a bad idea. And that can go towards the renovating of the building. That's a good idea. Yeah. How many cubbies do you have in here? Not enough. Well, it depends on how much we charge. How much would you charge per cubby? 
I mean, you could charge like ten, fifteen dollars, twenty dollars a month. Not enough cubbies. Yeah. Yeah, we need. I'm gonna have to build new cubbies. Yeah, we'll build some new cubbies. I would definitely donate if I knew it was going towards this beautiful building. This building was there was a lot of happiness here, probably a lot of sadness too. But just knowing about the the mentally handicapped people that were in here too, it kind of breaks my heart because I, I have a niece that's that way. This building had a lot of good. The whole aspect of that is the Lark has actually uh, they invited us to their client's prom last night. George and I had never gone to prom before. I wasn't allowed as a teenager and nobody asked her as a teenager. So we went to our first prom ever last night with the clients of the ARC who used to come here for school. Did you wear a tux? <sighs> Unfortunately, I wore this. <laughs> but, you know, that's, I was looking for a tux t-shirt. We couldn't find one. That's awesome. It was, was it fun? Oh, it was a blast. It yeah. was incredible. Let me show you what's in here, but you got to be extremely careful, okay? This floor, look at this. You could actually warp into... Oh, is that why you were saying... It's haunted. That's what I was telling you. It's a yeah. haunt... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I just almost <laughs> did the exact same thing. You have to find the truss or the floorboard. So what happened... You got to be really careful. There's, I was going to uh, ask you how this... Happened. Was it termites? No, that's not termites. There's a, there's a HVAC in here, and it leaked, and it rotted this entire floor. Oh, Holy oh, cow. cow. Oh, my God. Look. Dude, like, be careful. You literally can fall right through the entire floor. Well, so I don't want you to fall, so be careful. <laughs> this is why this this room is going to be our last room. Yeah. So this was the library. Here's some of the old wall of fame right here. All right, I'm going to try check, to walk without. Check this out. I just pulled through. this off. Wall oh, of fame. Cool. Some of the old Oh, my students. God. Careful. Careful. Oh, shoot. All right, hold on. Like, I'm serious. You got to right, be I'm very going back. careful. I'm too heavy for this floor. In the library, I think this was like activity mm. center as well. So like here's a ton of Play-Doh, lots of Play-Doh over here. I used to eat that stuff. You would eat Play-Doh? Yeah, when I was a kid, I'd make like fake hot dogs out of it. And... Dude, there's it's like all nighter. You're doing all night, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, so if you need a snack. Sure. <laughs> look at this. There's, a, there's an old leather chair in here. I mean, there's just all kinds of stuff in here, but... We haven't gotten in here yet. Yeah. I see what you're okay. saying. You got to walk on the joist. Yeah. You got to walk on that floor joist. And then this wall will come out as well, but we got to replace the whole floor here. And who knows what we're going to find under the floor, <laughs> which this is another wall to come out. I think there's electric. There's lights over here. It's safer over here. These are all from the from the walls that were taken out. These are all the two by fours that we're trying to save. Those look brand new. I mean, they were sealed up in the walls. So, yeah. so when we take the walls out of here, there's two by fours that we'll save in there too. I don't know. This must have been like a programming room or something like that. Darian says hello. Have a blessed day. Pencil sharpeners, clean sinks. We, oh, this is this is, is there, actual chores. Is there another way to get in that room? Yeah, you can sneak around all these two by fours. Okay, all right. I am not trying to walk on that dangerous floor. Yeah, be careful. Be really careful. Man, look at this. Look at all the jewelry. These look like a bunch of potato sticks. Hey, you got some bunch of some jewelry TVs here. too. TVs, jewelry. Like what? we haven't been in here yet. Oh, this is one of those. Uh, I know what this is. It's an exercise machine where you go it's like called maxi climber. Yeah. Man. Ooh. Have you tried it? Yet? No. How's it? Yeah, that's how you do it. Am I doing it right? Yeah. Just I like mean, that? You're half doing it right. Yeah, so this this room will be one of the last rooms. We've been throwing two by fours in here. You know, there's stuff that will save, like probably this shelf. But uh, other than that, everything's coming down. I have to say for like what he paid for this, it's in pretty good condition. I mean, it's all the bones. Like yeah. the, the roof is immaculate. This is old brick and cinder block and almost 100 years old. The old brick on the original building, almost 100 years old. Immaculate. Do you see this giant oak tree out here? Oh, wow. Dude, that thing's got to be like 200 years old. Oh, maybe 100. 100 well, based, I don't know how Florida trees are. I used to do a lot of arbor work with trees uh -huh. up north. In Ohio, a trunk that big would be well, well over 500 years old. I don't know really? the Florida conditions might make them, you know, with the humidity might make it grow a little bit better. Yeah. But in Ohio, that would be over a 500 year old trunk, a tree. It's big. And how many kids do you think climbed that? Oh, man. Potentially fell out of it. Potentially, you know. <laughs> I've fallen out of trees before. Well, look, so was that maybe like an old... That's baseball an old baseball field? diamond. Yeah. Yep, that's the old school baseball diamond. 
cool. It sure is. Is that the house that you were saying is on the property? No. You want to see the house? That's not it? No, nope, that's not it. What is that? That's not, is that on your property? That is, um, yes, but I'll show you the house right now. Okay. Is that like a storage house? That's something? a storage. It used to be a thrift store to everything that was sold there. Uh -huh. That was a thrift store. It would benefit the ark. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Oh man, we're trapped in here, aren't we? We are trapped. I'm, I'm going to go the way I came, which was this way. It's like pickup Whoa. sticks. <laughs> I wonder how old these two by fours are, but you know, they look perfectly preserved because they were inside. I mean, just, you know, look at these guys. I don't, you have like probably a thousand dollars in two just by fours. Just in lumber. Yep. Just, just right here. That's great. And you have more that you're going to be knocking down. Yeah, we're right? still knocking more out. You want to go to the house now or you want to go see more rooms? Um, back here? Yeah. Well, you know what? I definitely want to save some of the places I have not seen yet for a little bit later when the, you know, all the lights turn down and it's nighttime. But yeah, let's go get a peek at the house. All right. Let's peek at it. Any hauntings in the house? They have, babe, did they say anything about anything happening in the house? Yeah. Remember the Chucky doll? Moved from oh. Ooh. Sharon. Okay. So Sharon, the assistant director, had a Chucky doll. She loved Chucky. And the Chucky doll would move, move places in the house. And they used this house. I forgot about that, but you're right. So, and we have the Chucky doll now, right? It's, it's somewhere in this room. Okay, right the here. Chucky doll is somewhere in here. I don't know where. But you don't know where it's at? No clue. It's, oh, it's going to be a dollar. Oh, that might be something I might be buying. <laughs> hey, Chucky doll. The Chucky nice. doll was over here. So they put this house on here. And this is for, this was their office, okay? So this is a huge single wide, and this was all the offices. By the way, there are outdoor lights. Uh -huh. They don't work. Like, it's gonna be pitch black out here tonight. Oh, wow. Now yeah. that I'm looking at that tree even, like, closer it's now, huge. like, huge. Yeah, that tree is old, it's bro. huge. That is a nice tree. Silent like, H. I wanna hang, like, a rope and a tire on it. Okay, so I was just hanging in that tree yesterday. Uh -huh. So we had some arborists come out and we were climbing up in it and hanging in it and spider manning in it. And, what? Oh yeah, yeah. Dang. Pretty incredible. It's very much alive, which is awesome. I feel like you'll find some graves out here for some reason. Cause I don't know, that looks like a, looks like a church, bro. Maybe it was a church originally, like before the school? It was 100% school. Was it? it? Was okay. never a church, but the pastor was the principal. So yeah. how that worked, I don't know back in the day. Mm. We do know because students, the local community keep coming and telling us stories. Like all day, they're coming and they're telling us, oh, you bought it. You got to know this. You got to know this. You got to know this. That's it awesome. Was pastor Swaggerty was his name uh -huh. and we know he was the pastor and he was the principal Ooh. we're locked out the ghost did it on purpose they look like graves <laughs> these right uh, here they had sheds right there there was like five or six sheds on the property they they left us that one and they took these ones oh that's a nice shed back there that one's filled with stuff too so does any of your property go behind the woods well i do have 71 acres back in those woods Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. So, so this is this is almost four acres, right? And I have seventy-one acres back there in those woods. But there is a little sliver of land in between. But it does go back in the woods about 10, 15 feet. Hmm. And then there's somebody else's land, and then we've got seventy-one acres behind it. So cool. Which is one of the reasons why we're thrilled to get it. It's literally around the corner. So remember, this oh. was this was originally put in here as office space. Dude, this looks creepy in here. So the electric is creepy because it because it was an office. All of the light switches are right here. So these are the light switches. So you see where the kitchen is? The kitchen's right there. That's not a ghost. That's me. <laughs> that's the kitchen. Your kitchen light switch is right here. What? Right here. That's it. Because it was an office. Oh. So they brought this home in. And, and it's an office. So what we're doing right now is we're looking to actually hire an employee. And when we hire employees, we offer free housing as well. We give a salary, a competitive salary, and we give housing. And so we're looking for an employee to actually live in this house, security and sell for us, resell and film for us on YouTube and the whole deal. So we're trying to, we're trying to get a deal before we go back up north, trying to hire somebody to live here.
Hey, if y'all know anybody you're watching right now, free place to live, get paid, and have a haunted location like that you can hang out at anytime. I mean, you got to do some work too, of course. So huge kitchen, like huge kitchen. This place was a mess. You saw the one room up front and I told you, hey, everything was like that. Right. This place was literally a mess. There were walls in here, partitions. It's very clean. So the very first thing, the day one that we we owned it, I had to go to Orlando, pick up my two employees. And we came in here and we were like, you need a place to stay and sleep. And so we made a bedroom first. This oh, was, look at that. This was the executive director's office. Okay, it's big. Wow. This is where Chucky Dow was. So this was the original office for the executive director. We turned it into a bedroom for my employees. And then her aunt flew in from California. We flew her in because we were having a huge event. And so we used this bedroom, which this was all partitions and cubicles for the staff. So we turned this into a bedroom for her aunt. This is so cool. So, cozy. so this furniture, we buy storage units and obviously we buy storage units and we film what we find. All the furniture is from storage units. Oh, really? I love that desk. This was actually originally here. Oh, okay. This is this is an old... Like a sewing machine? Sewing machine, yep. Ah. Now I got to remember how to open it. I bet you that's heavy. It's very heavy. Oh, look at that. Wait, it even has a sewing machine in there? It's the old Singer. Cool. Yep, it's the old Singer. Hey, babe, check this out. So then that would swing up like that. No kidding. Yeah, 100% like 50s or 60s. That's awesome. That's in great condition. So this was actually here. Wow. So this is one of the things that we kept that was actually here. All the other furniture we brought in from storage units that we bought here in Florida. Love it. Man, y'all did so much in so little time. What, did you have like 10 people here with you? It's me, George, Christian, Patience. We don't know what? how many ghosts, so there could have been 10, but... Um, the ghosts were helping. We at least, we had four nonstop. So there was a window in between the offices, but uh -huh. we had her aunt sleeping here which her aunt couldn't get any sleep. And then- Why is that? The Chucky doll? She kept hearing noises, she kept hearing noises all night. What? She, she told us, rapping. she told us there were giant rats in the ceiling. She's Arabic. She's like, the giant rats, the giant rats, I cannot sleep. We did, we put a painting over this because um, there was a window in the offices. So we put a painting over that because the employees were there. They slept just fine. Her aunt is the one that said, just noises, 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 noises. There's something in the ceiling trying to get her. Wow. We're going to have to pay some time to this room later. Can we come in here later? Like at nighttime? You mm -hmm. have complete and total access to everything. You the man. Just don't fornicate on my property. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't not <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was like... You guys okay. going to come in here later? Yeah, man. All right, I'm going to turn the AC on. Oh, it has air conditioning? Oh, man, this AC is in incredible here. over here. Well, you can add that later. You got running water and stuff. So we got... There is no shower because it was offices. We used to have these leather chairs on our dock, on our pond, because we didn't care. Wait, yeah, these those are were outside? Chairs. Yeah, these were outside. The they look like they're in great condition. We found them in storage units and we put them on our dock on our pond and we'd just go out on our leather recliners out on the pond. Nice. And then we brought them over here. So there is a bathroom over here, but there is no shower yet because remember this was an office. Right. So we had to have everybody go use showers over there. This place is in great condition. I have to say, the whole property, everything. And then there's another bathroom back there and another storage room. Oh. But we were warned, don't ever go through that door. So we haven't opened it yet. You haven't gone in there? We don't know what's behind it. We were warned. Wait, are you go. legit? You see, you've 100%. not been back there. You want to be the first one to open the door and go? We'll follow you. We'll do it later. Not today. Well, I mean, later today. Tonight. When it's dark. But I mean, what if they want to go in the door? I don't want to go in the door. What? Omar needs to leave. Omar's got to leave if we're going to go through that door. Should we do it now? You're on your own. But I'm going back over to the schoolhouse. There's showers over there in case I poop my pants. All right. I can show, right. I'll show you the bathroom. I'll show you the bathroom really quick, but we are warned. Don't ever, 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 ever go through this door. And so why is that though? They didn't tell us, but there is a bathroom in here and I can tell you the, the lights work. So there is a bathroom. The lights work. The plumbing does not. Okay. And this is like this thing. Oh, this is nice. Like naughty pine. It's uh, it looks like it's out of a bad, scary deliverance movie. 
And I just figured I saw the condition of this room that I should not go back into the other room. So maybe it's a kind of like a danger thing. Don't know. I haven't been brave enough. You're the man. All right. I'm just a boy. We're going to, we're going <laughs> to, oh my gosh, that is so funny. It's like this nice big pole and this little flag. <laughs> so we're going to make a flag. It's like a yard flag. What the hails. Oh, nice. And then we keep saying we're going to create a baseball team here. We're going to be the Otter Freaks. So we're going to get a flag <laughs> that says Otter Freaks. Yo, so we're just over here just sitting, chilling, just talking. And we just yeah, heard, heard some noises. Yeah. It Was sounded, it on the roof? It sounded like something coming from the ceiling you know or... It almost sounded like, you know, like the old school tricycle? When it's like... Why is it George that just went to go check on oh, it and not geez. us? <sighs> like, yeah, we're just sitting here. I heard it. Yeah, I heard it. There's the access panel. If you want to get in the roof, oh, it's right there. We were told not to go up there either. You want to be the first one? Nah. Person? That's one uh, thing I don't ladders. I don't do addicts. Um I want to know who came up with the word either. It's either. either. <laughs> That's <is> so true. <laughs> I say I either. Tomato, but... tomato. Right. No, definitely tomato. Definitely tomato. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever said tomato. Do you think that's Can what I your aunt tomatoes? was hearing? She heard something. She was afraid it was something. Oh, I heard that too. That sounded like somebody something. just sat on the freaking chair on the couch. Is that what it was? Maybe it was like the plastic or the leather like lifting. Nah. It was like a tap. This is going to be a fun night and talking to somebody and he came out and he was like, who are you talking to? And she goes, she goes, Mike. And he was like, uh, she goes, my friend, Mike, he's right here. And then she, he was like, come on, we're going inside. And then her grandma, who was the executive director, went to her computer to log in. And you know how it has ID and password. Guess what the name was on the computer? Stop. Mike. What? Her office was right that there. was her, that's her office right there. No kidding. Right there. And I would probably say that Mike's gone now, but we don't know. We don't know. You're going to find out tonight. Oh, we definitely got to do the spare box. Yeah. Hey, Mike, is it you making all that noise in here? You don't have to be scared tonight. We'll be here to document your haunting. You could play with Tiffany's hair. Boy, stop volunteering my hair all the time. God. <laughs> okay, fam. It is officially midnight. It's dark out. And we've been here already, I don't know, maybe like an hour or so. We did leave to get some eat and we came back. That way we could officially be into the night. And uh, so far, we've caught quite a bit of activity. Uh, we saw this. Hey, where'd that ball go? What <gasps> was that? Oh my god. Did you just hear that? It was like a it was a ball. Yeah. Okay, so uh we were here doing a spirit box somewhere like in this hallway, and it said something about Satan and then not, do not be afraid, and then I hear like what sounded like a snake hissing I thought, I thought, and me, it like a snake slithering. this ball came rolling out of here and it was that red ball that is not in here anymore. Well, actually, it was in this hallway. So that whole tale about that red ball is real. I just wanted to give you kind of behind the scenes because we are doing a video here into the night and so far we've caught a little bit of activity. I mean, nothing crazy. You know, no demon possessions or anything like that. Although the spirit box a little bit ago did say something about Satan. Didn't it say that, like, be careful or something oh, like that? Oh, uh, yeah, it said be careful. Because I was asking for something to happen. I'm like, hey, close the door, you know, do whatever, do something. And shortly after that ball came rolling. But we think that the ball was probably in, like, a ceiling and... There's a lot of noises. Yes. <laughs> There's a lot of noises, that's for sure. But you're saying the ball could have been from like uneven ground or... Yeah, I mean, if, I don't know. And, and for all we know, there could be... So, there was a smelly... Yeah, I it smells like it something again. dead in here. I smell it again. I think an animal died in this room here. Yeah. Which is weird because like earlier today, I didn't smell that at all while we were in there. 
Yeah, same. But anyways, this place is cool. Haven't seen that woman in the red dress. Oh, I did get something about a lady in white on the spirit box. And we were using this different spirit box that has never been used before. Pretty cool place, I have to say. I definitely want to come back here. But yeah, stay tuned for that video. It's going to be great. We're going to spend probably a couple more hours here into the night. I don't know if we're going to spend the night here, like stay over, like not a sleepover, but I don't know. I'm thinking I may try to come here alone. Uh, Tiffany thinks I'm crazy, but... Uh, no, I highly suggest it. Alone. I'm up for the challenge. Without me. We'll see. But anyways, gotta go for now before we leave. Kiss. Mm.